Okay, so let's continue with our simplifying complex fractions using method one. And again, for this method, we're going to simplify the numerator and the denominator for the complex fraction separately, and then we're gonna do the main division. So if we look at our problem here, we have negative three over x squared minus one, then plus five x over x plus one, and then this is over five x minus five, over 3x plus 3. So you can kind of see that this part right here is the numerator for the complex fraction, and this part down here is the denominator for the complex fraction. So what we need to simplify basically is just this numerator up here because we have this addition. All right, once we've simplified this numerator, we can just perform the main division. So if I kind of work on this down here, what do I got? I got negative 3 over x squared minus 1, negative 3 over x squared minus 1, and I've got plus 5x over x plus 1. Plus 5x over x plus 1. So basically, this is just adding rational expressions. Pretty simple, right? We need to get an LCD first. So what's our LCD going to be? So some of you will still make the mistake of going, okay, well, it's x plus 1 times x squared minus 1. No. Remember, you have to think about different techniques and different strategies for factoring. You can't do anything with x plus one, but if I look at x squared minus one, you have to remember that that's the difference of two squares. x squared minus one will factor into x plus one times x minus one. So once you see that, well basically you have a common factor of x plus one, so I can put that in the LCD. And then this x minus 1's got to go in there. And so the LCD would be x plus 1 times x minus 1 or just x squared minus 1. So let me kind of erase this real quick. I'm just going to write this up here, LCD x plus 1 times x minus 1. I always like to write my LCD in factored form. So if I just put this like this, I'm not going to do anything with this first rational expression because I don't need to. All right, it's got the LCD as its denominator already, so I'll have negative three over, we'll just write it as x plus one times x minus one. Then we have plus, I'll have five x, and what I'll need to do, this is over x plus one, I'll need to multiply this rational expression by this x minus one over x minus one. Okay. So what is that gonna give me? I'll have negative three over x plus one times x minus one, plus if I do five x times x, that's five x squared. Then if I do five x times negative one, that's minus five x. And again, over x plus one times x minus one. So now we just wanna combine like terms for the numerators here. Basically, we're gonna have a negative three that's gonna go on the end of this guy, so we'll have 5x squared minus 5x minus 3 over x plus 1 times x minus 1. So what you should do before you bring this up in into the numerator for the complex fraction, you want to look and see can you factor this guy right here, and at least write it in factor form because it's going to save you the trouble of doing it later on for simplification purposes. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what we can do here. So if I think about factoring this, five times negative three, or my AC would be what? Negative 15. And then my middle term B would be negative five. So we kind of think about two integers that would multiply together be negative 15 and sum to be negative five. So let me think about this. And I'm not gonna think about the signs right now, but for factors of 15, you'd have one and 15 and you'd have three and five. And you can kind of play with the combinations there, which way they go, but really nothing other than that, right? Three times five or five times three, or you could do one times 15 or 15 times one. You're not gonna play with the signs here and make a sum of negative five and a product of negative 15. There's just no way to do it. So this right here, this five X squared minus five X minus three, that is a prime polynomial. So let's go back up to the top and we're gonna write this guy in there, five x squared minus five x minus three over x plus one times x minus one. So we'll come back up here.
Okay. And a lot of you will see that this can be simplified here, but let's go through and just set up the multiplication first and we'll do that in a minute. So let me erase down here so I have some room. Okay, so if we look at this now, we know that we can just set up basically a multiplication problem. We've got this rational expression divided by this rational expression. That's what it really breaks down to. And we know how to do that. So we're gonna have five x squared minus five x minus three over x plus one times x minus one. And we're multiplying this by the reciprocal of this guy here, which would be three x plus three over five x minus five. Now, we already know that this right here is a prime polynomial, so I'm not gonna be able to cancel anything between numerator and denominator here. But over here, if you look, I can pull, let me just kind of rewrite this. I can pull a three out of the numerator, so this would be three times x plus one, and I can pull a five out of the denominator, so this would be five times x minus one. So I can cross cancel this x plus one with this x plus one, but I can't really do anything between here and here. So basically as simple as I'm gonna be able to make this is gonna be this three multiplied by this polynomial here, so I'll do that, three times five x squared is 15 x squared, minus three times five x, that's 15 x, and then minus three times three, that's nine, and then over, basically we'll have five times x minus one times x minus one. So you can write this as x minus one times x minus one like this, or a lot of people just to save space will just put x minus one squared. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So your final answer here is gonna be 15x squared minus 15x minus nine over five times x minus one squared. 